The VPL VW290ES is Sony's new entry-level LAM-based 4K projector, which is also marketed as the VW325ES in the USA. I genuinely wish the company, in fact every company, would use the same model numbers across regions, just like what Sony did with its 2021 TV lineup, although I still had to contend with pronouncing Z versus Z differently. Like what we've seen on other XSRD projectors from Sony, blacks were deeper than any other DLP-based 4K projector on the market, though not as inky as the class-leading JVC DILA machines. Note that unlike higher-up models within Sony's 4K projector lineup, the VW290 or 325 is not equipped with a dynamic iris, or in fact any mechanical iris to let you clamp down the brightness. So the only way to adjust the projector's light output is through the lamp control low or high setting. Even the lower lamp control setting of low was still too bright for reference cinema luminance, so if you like to obtain a lower black floor, perhaps you can consider using a low gain projector screen or adding an ND filter. While on the subject of lamp control settings, low was obviously quieter and unobtrusive for actual viewing, and is our preference for watching SDR content. Lamp control high was necessary for HDR and 3D content, but we found the increase in fan noise still tolerable. Similar to what we observed on recent Sony 4K projectors, near-black gradation in HDR10 was coarser than expected on this moving quantization test pattern developed by Stacey Spears of Spears and Munsell fame, which occasionally manifested itself in certain dark tones in real-world content. Even before calibration, colors looked natural in the most accurate out-of-the-box reference picture preset although with a slight blue tint which is typical of Sony consumer displays, owing to the alternative white point adopted by the Japanese brand. After calibration to D65 white point, color accuracy was excellent on this challenging color checker SG chart where 140 patches were measured, returning an average delta error of 1.08, and a maximum delta error of 2.26 which is below the humanly perceptible inaccuracy threshold of delta error 3. As a result, Colors including skin tones came across supremely natural, but we thought the cinematic feel took a slight hit owing to some very mild noise reduction going on. Yes, just like on all Sony projectors we've tested to date, the VW290ES or 325ES applied a light layer of noise reduction at all times, even with all noise reduction controls turned off, which could only be defeated by engaging input lag reduction. And thankfully, slow panning shots in 24p content remained smooth without telecynic judder, so there's certainly a case for engaging in input lag reduction even for watching movies to preserve film grain integrity. Talking of 24p motion handling, with motion flow set to off or true cinema, 24 frames per second movies were presented smoothly without any sign of telecynic judder. Setting motion flow to smooth low would start introducing some Sopra effect or SOE however slight, so we preferred to use True Cinema for watching 24p films in the manner intended by the director. For higher frame rate content, motion resolution came in at the sample and hold baseline of 300 lines with motion flow off or True Cinema. Setting motion flow to smooth low or smooth high would double motion resolution to 600 lines which would improve motion clarity when watching sports, but as demonstrated earlier, please bear in mind that doing so would also introduce the opera effect or SOE to 24p films not to mention the occasional interpolation artifacts. We experimented with various relative creation and sharpness settings, and found that switching off relative creation and using a sharpness value of 50 produced the cleanest picture with the least artifacts on this Luma zone plate pattern. This coverage is sponsored by Richard Sounds Manchester. Call 0333 900 0086 for the best prices and expert advice for TVs, AV and Hi-Fi. Due to limited light output, HDR presentation on projectors is never going to come close to delivering the impact that HDR TVs are capable of, but at least the Sony VW290ES or VW325ES tone mapped well to produce a natural looking image with some depth. Because Sony has rightly opted not to put a WCG color filter in the optical path, which would have further cut light output, DCI-P3 color gamut coverage measured 90.5% UV while RED 2020 coverage was 67%. The company provides two HDR10 tone curves on the VW290. HDR reference was ideal for 1000 nit content, because it tracked PQ closely before hard clipping at 1000 nits, 
mimicking the behavior of Sony's industry standard mastering monitors. When watching HDR movies containing specular highlights up to 4000 nits, you should set the HDR tone curve to HDR10 to retain more highlight detail, which is also verified on this white clipping pattern from the Ryan Masiola HDR test disc. There's mild posterization in the skies of the Martian, which could be smoothed out by the smooth gradation decontouring filter at the expense of some fine detail. In terms of 3D playback, the Sony 290 resolved full HD 3D resolution, and presented 24p, 50p and 60p 3D content smoothly without any hint of frame rate conversion jitter, which is very impressive. For gaming, input lag measured 36 milliseconds with input lag reduction enabled, which is one of the lowest among projectors we've reviewed over the years. Input lag reduction also restored full chroma bandwidth on this 1080p test pattern from the Spears and Mansell HD benchmark disc, which would otherwise be horizontally blurred. Design-wise, the VW290 or VW325 doesn't look different from Sony 4K projectors over the past few years, with a centrally mounted lens flanked by front-facing air vents. Our review sample carried a white finish which is more suitable for installation in a living room for mixed usage, but the projector is also available in black for putting in a dedicated home theatre room. The connections are found on the right side of the chassis, including two HDMI 2.0b ports with no HDMI 2.1 features implemented. Lens zoom, shift, and focus can all be done electronically using the remote control, although we are somewhat disappointed that a motorized lens cover was not provided at this price point. The remote control remains unchanged with plenty of large, useful buttons, and can be backlit with a press of the light button for operation in the dark. Let's sum up. The VW290ES or VW325ES is another solid 4K projector from Sony, which delivers very good picture quality. Its price of £5,500 isn't exactly affordable, but believe it or not, it's actually the cheapest 2021 model native 4K projector that doesn't need to resort to pixel shifting or mirror flashing techniques to achieve 4K resolution. Having tested a number of DLP-based ultra-structural laser projectors, which admittedly aren't competing in the same space, returning to the deep blacks, accurate colors, outstanding motion handling of the VW290, not to mention the silky sharpness afforded by true 4K resolution, just give me such a relief, similar to getting to the halfway point of an IKEA instruction manual, and so the Sony VW290ES earns our recommended award. To watch more of our projector reviews, please click here for our playlist and I will see you in the next video.